for me, the best fly fisherman is the guy or girl with the biggest smile. If you, if you live in the moment, every moment the best when you are fly fishing. In more than 30 years of fly fishing, I have fished in many countries, uh, most of the European countries, and then overseas. So I fished in the United States, I fished in Alaska and Florida, and at Cape Cod, in Montana, I fished the Big Horn. Then I fished uh, Venezuela, Los Roques, Cuba, I fished uh, British Columbia. And in some places, I went uh, two times and no more. But there is one place where I return six times. And this place is... For me, fishing in New Zealand is the essence, the real essence of fly fishing. You don't fly to New Zealand to catch many trouts. You fly to New Zealand to catch the trout, that trout, the one you are hunting for. This is why seeing the fish is so important. I always say that the sunglasses, quality sunglasses, are more important than a quality rod or a quality reel. If you can see the fish, you have a chance. You can fish the water sometimes, just trying, but 90% of the times it's uh, not working. Mm, the best technique is when you walk and when you see the fish. You need to do everything perfectly if you really want to catch that fish. If you line the fish, no chance. If the fish sees you, no chance. If you make noise, no chance. So it's a kind of fishing which requires that you do everything perfectly. Oh, I think it's a nice fish. Uh, That's an update. I'm just looking forward to seeing what sort of fishermen I've got more than the fish. No, you're the only My advice, if you fly to New Zealand for the first time, is take a guide. If you are a beginner, take a guide. If you are a little bit better of a beginner, take a guide. If you are an expert angler, take a guide. If you are a super expert angler with 50 years of fly fishing experience, take a guide. You better take a guide if it's your first trip to New Zealand. The guide is important because he knows where the fish are. He knows the water conditions. A guide can introduce you to this New Zealand fly fishing technique which is a little bit different from uh, our European technique or the, the, the fly fishing I used to do when I fished the bighorn. A guide is important because you don't lose time with a guide. Especially if you have only 10 days or two weeks, you cannot afford to lose some days just looking for trout or just understanding how to, to fish them. Once you have been introduced to that kind of fishing, then maybe you can try alone. Uh, I remember the first trip I did, uh, I had a guide, I had two guides. 
the second trip I did. I had one guy just for five days and then I continued alone. And all the other trips I, I did, I did not book a guide. But now I know how to approach the New Zealand rivers. I know some of these rivers. I know exactly where the good spots are. And so now I can afford to fly to New Zealand and to fish by myself. The first year I had two great guys, Peter Fordham in the North Island and Gordy Watson in the South Island. I will leave the links at the end of the vlog. Good. Strike. Unboxing. Sedge. Ah, great rod. I think definitely the best fly fishing rod for pike. The loop pike rod is very good too, so I think the two are the best. And we have some fly lines, Rio Gold, In Touch Rio Gold, Trout LT. And then we have Sedge X 9 feet line 5. This is another great rod from Sedge. I already use it. Oh, okay. Another Sedge rod. We have the new ESN. This is a rod specific for. European style nymph, and this is a new version, 2017. We had, we have here uh, some really tough rods, quality rods, I would say. Now this was unboxing and vlog number three.